Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. We have a reading for you for the full moon in Aries. Um, I know that there's a lot of, you know, planets that were in retrograde that are no longer going to be in retrograde with this full moon. Um, as, you know, fiery as Aries is, I think of, uh, you know, like the Greek and Roman gods. I think of the god of war, Aries. And is he Mars. A mm -hmm. Okay, I don't know. It is. And so we're going to be pulling from Gods and Titans tonight by Stacey DeMarco because it has this, it feels like a vibe. And the, uh, the complimentary cards I'm going to be pulling from Whispers of Healing. Yeah. So yeah, full yeah. moon. It's a good time to release the past, clear the past, and uh, focus on what you want to manifest for the present slash incoming future. What are your intentions for, you know, these final months of 20, gosh, what year 2021. is it? 2021. <laughs> what I year know. is it? I don't know. It feels like, like 2019 was last year, but it was not. I know. I was just thinking that today, like my 2019 felt like a second ago. Mm -hmm. It's crazy. Or it's vibration, man. Speeding up. Everything's getting faster. There's also like the whole pandemic thing. That... There was that whole pandemic <laughs> there thing. There was that whole that thing that's still, still kind of going ongoing. on. ongoing. <laughs> When, it's still going. When will it stop? No one. Oh, we shouldn't laugh. We, we, sorry. We should just do the reading. <laughs> we should just do the reading. <laughs> okay. All right. Our first card is Eros. Love. Love. Okay. And the complimentary card is Barriers with a beautiful dragon. Fire breathing dragon. Oh, this is about okay. clearing blocks to love. Clearing blocks to love. Yeah. So this is the this is the main attention I feel like for Twin Flames for the Aries Moon is. What are my blocks to love? Where am I experiencing not love? Or where am I mm -hmm. experiencing love that is... It, it, where, I, where do I need more love in my life? And where do I need to align more in my divinity here? And what are my barriers or blocks, right? So love, obviously, is your natural inheritance, abundance, natural inheritance, your twin flame, harmonious union, perfect union, perfect life, mm -hmm. all your natural inheritance. And it's only a matter, journey is only a matter of um, clearing the blocks to receiving your natural inheritance, receiving love, seeing love more clearly in your life, feeling it, and having it. Yeah. Anything that you're experiencing that's not peaceful, that's not, you know, a divine experience is something that's a block to love a block to God mm -hmm. and you know if you're experiencing your twin flame running from you if you're experiencing you know them not contacting you or you're just having a lot of fights with them even like those are places where you can you know see these barriers like, you know you notice that this dragon is actually quite beautiful mm -hmm. um, yeah it's, it's really beautiful. The blocks are not actually meant to be feared. They're not, they may seem like they're like scary, right? Like it's a big, this big scary dragon that may not ever be able to be overcome, but that's not true. It's actually an opportunity to go deeper into love, mm -hmm. go deeper into, um, you know, it's an opportunity. Yeah. It's like, I want to encourage you all to see it that way. Yeah. Jeff mentioned that on the first day of the Sedona workshop is every block is an opportunity for more love and mm -hmm. That's um, really the best way to see each block as it arises or each bad feeling as it arises. So um, Aries Moon, it's a perfect time to just sit and feel those bad feelings unafraid. Look at them honestly. Look at, you know, look at what part of your life do you not like or what part of your reality is uncomfortable mm. or difficult for you to accept. It's okay to sit down and have a really good hard look at that and also be really compassionate and really patient with yourself because... Um, you know, this is a this is a long game, this twin flame journey. It's it's a long game. It's a marathon, not a sprint, right? So, just going easy on yourself and um, being really loving with yourself is is really the, the most sensible path forward. Yeah. Good, good start. Nice. All right, and our next card, Anubis, protection, and the complimentary card is unexpected. Ooh. Yeah, what immediately comes up for me here is that, you know, <laughs> you can't even light. see it in there. Um, 
that you're protected even when you're going into these places that are kind of unknown. You are protected. Yeah, like, and if you go to these places that you haven't shown a light, like, shown a light on, especially within your inner feelings, um, Mm. you know, you can feel in your consciousness, you can feel in your heart these places where you're maybe not wanting to look. You're afraid that if you do look there, you'll find out that you're bad. You'll find out something about yourself or something about your twin flame or you're afraid Mm. love will leave you. Like, there's something... You know, the love will hurt you. Or lo- yeah, there's some unknown aspect aspect that you're afraid to look at, and this is just letting you know that it you are protected in this time. You're safe. You, you're safe to explore. You're safe to go to those places because you, when you shine the light there, you're only going to find more love. Mm-hmm. Even if it appears like oh something's falling away, you're only losing like losing. The things that weren't yours, the things Mm -hmm. that no longer serve you, so that what is yours can come in. Yeah, I was reading earlier, um, just something that came up and kind of caught my attention is a lot of times people um, are afraid to manifest what they truly want because they have a block to safety and they don't, because they don't feel safe having that thing. They, They feel like they'll lose it or it'll run away from them or, so it's like, okay, I better not have it at all. And um, that's just no way to live life. And that's not how God intended you to live life. That's not um, a d- very divine life. That's not a very happy life um, is, you know, constantly rejecting your good, rejecting what you know in your heart is meant for you. And yeah, it does take some time and a whole lot of love and self-compassion and patience, but um, you can do it. You can sit down and you can feel your feelings about certain things or you know certain maybe you know difficult experiences or even traumatic experiences we have the mind alignment process now you know with twin flames universe and jeff Chilea's work where you can re- really root out core traumas um but basically like nothing is um too hard nothing is too much nothing is so unbearable about you or your twin flame that you can't look at you can't solve and that you can't heal and Maybe it feels like you're afraid. I feel this is what I get from this card is like you're afraid that you'll go within. You see this girl who's kind of gone down these sort of steps and she's afraid um, of what she may find. It's going to be unexpected. But look at what she does find. She finds this incredible inner palace, this incredible inner joy. And this is what you awaken to on the Twin Flame journey is how beautiful your union is and how beautiful you are. And that's really what is going on within with you and in your twin flame is you're both really beautiful divinely beautiful people and healed people really within mm-hmm. yeah beautiful all right all right and the next card is i think it's O. um focus mm. oh that's a good one and the complimentary card is sincere relationships Aww. Yeah, I think okay. this is like really focus. Like it's saying like to really focus on what you actually desire in a relationship. Yeah, and this is where your love list comes in. This is where getting clear on your true desires come in. <laughs> um, because if you're not clear on what you desire, then your twin flame won't be clear either. Right, it can't come to you. It can't come to you, and when you if you do receive it, like if you call it in and you're not ready for it or you're not clear on your desires, you're going to feel that scattered energy that's going to be amplified Mm -hmm. in your union because you don't know what you want. Mm -hmm. Um, And something else that's kind of coming up here is, you know, like really like getting to know yourself Mm -hmm. and like, you know, focusing on your priorities Mm -hmm. because that's what's going to like manifest your sincere relationship not what you think that someone wants not what you Mm. think you should do or what looks good on the outside what looks good but like what is actually important to you what actually Mm. feels good to you what what you actually desire in your life because that's what you deserve is what you actually desire not you know what you think you deserve amen yeah like it's it yeah that's i couldn't have said it better myself this is perfect like Sharpen your focus because it's a it's a truth of reality. Like it's a spiritual truth that you always get what you want. So um, it is important to take time to get to know 
what it is that you really truly desire because you're going to get it. You, you're a divine being. You're, you know, a child of God. Like, you're going to get it. Like, you're going to get whatever it is that you desire. Um, so take the time to focus on, you know, the qualities of your twin flame by making a love list or the qualities of your life together that you want. What kind of house do you want? Where do you want to live? How many kids do you want? You know, these sorts of things can really, um, like, uh, ground, like, your heart's desires and ground your dreams here on earth. And isn't that what you're here to have? Aren't you here to have heaven on earth? Aren't you here to have it all? Mm -hmm. Yeah, beautiful. I love it. All right, bottom of the deck or fourth card? Feeling I feel one? like, yeah, like this is a full moon. Let's okay, do a little let's, more right, set and then we'll do the bottom of the deck. Okay. All right, Vishnu, balance. And the complimentary card is negativity. Yeah, I'm getting that, like... This will really throw you off balance, won't it? <laughs> yeah, like, don't focus on the negative yeah. things going on in your life. You may experience these blocks. These um, bad feelings come up, These course. bad feelings to come up, but you don't focus on the bad thoughts. You feel through them. Mm -hmm. And you release um, them. And you release them, but you focus on what you desire on the other side, and mm -hmm. that's the more love, that's more this peace. This is what's coming in. Right. And you don't do it for, like, a result. You don't say, like, oh, when I get through the other side, my twin flame will talk to me. That's not And then not I'll it. be happy. And then I'll be happy. No. No, um, no, no, no. It's no. more like there's more peace on the other side of this. Mm -hmm. Like, this is there's more joy on the other side of this. This is what's returning to me. Mm -hmm. Rather than, oh, I feel awful. I'm moving <laughs> through this awful feeling. I hate everything. And, you know, like. You feel, negative Nancy. <laughs> right. You feel through all these like negative feelings sometimes, but it's not who you are. It, and right. Perfect. Well, yeah. Well said. It's not who you are. It's not who you are. And it's okay to find balance in that is kind yeah. of what that's saying is to say like you can feel through your feelings, but it's important to feel good and happy too. It's mm -hmm. not just slogging through all the shit all the time. Yeah. It's you do this work, you heal and grow so that you can be happy so that you magnetize your twin flame. You live a balanced life together. Right. This took us forever to really figure out. And we're still, we still figure this one out. Oh like yeah, for sure. How to create a balanced life that is full of everything that we want, but like perfectly, you know, not too much mm -hmm. of one thing. Everything's sort of well balanced, right? Like good food, good work, good rest, you know, that sort of thing, like not too much of one or the other, like moderation kind of thing is what I feel. Mm -hmm. So yeah. Yeah, it's it's safe to live a balanced, healthy life. Cool. Alright. Bottom of the deck. Alright. And mm. yep. And the card is Cer Cer Cernunos. Cer yeah. Cer Cernunos. Yeah. Cernunos. Uh, Cernunos. Cernunos. And you guys can correct us if we're wrong here. Yeah. <laughs> uh shape shifting. Yeah, and the bottom of the deck for mine is breathe. This is nice. Yeah, to me this is like undergoing the transformation yeah. that is coming with this like full moon energy. And nothing outside of you has power over you. Like right. whether it's Mercury retrograde or it's new you know a, a new moon or a full moon, nothing outside of you. Twin flame, ha false twin flame. Right. Nothing has nothing power and no one. over you and over your reality right. you have the power to create your reality you have the yeah. the power to shape you know your uh your world life. and your experience and so you know don't get too caught up in you know this full moon is making me feel this way but you can use that energy in order to fuel your uh you know your transformation mm -hmm. you know this is a powerful time and so mm -hmm. use that to you know is the same breathe but let's like find that peace go deeper into your peace go deeper into your healing go deeper into love and that's what's going to transform you because that's yeah. what trans uh that's what love does it it changes you into your divine self and not yeah. um heals you yeah it heals you instead of you hanging on to this um false self that you created mm. or good. made you know yeah well said nice all right. Feels All good. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe for more. If you like to work with us, uh, you can find our services at sacredtwinflameunion.com. And otherwise, we will see you in the next video. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Bye. Bye.